I'm just still getting settled in right now. Let's see. this every single time. Um, I'm ready. Um, okay, we're back. What is going on right now, though? Uh, it's okay. Calypso's fine. We have a bunch of ships. We're still under Biota Assault down here. And I think we can upgrade everything to level 3. Yeah, that was a little tank while I'm, I'm upgrading. Let's see. Over here? Same deal, right? What is this offline? Oh, I didn't have many humans. That's why. Let's see if we have enough humans for all that. A quick biota scan. Yep, we've got one. Not today. work mechanically. If I ignore them on the map, I guess they multiply. Right now it seems like... Was that the only one? Oh, this has colon E. This is Ace's Alley. Yeah, nothing else. Let's go ahead and look at Colony. We're actually doing surprisingly well here as well. Once we have enough humans, we'll worry about upgrading this to the next tier. We don't have enough humans, the Kiwi. Okay. What's the deal here? Emulicious needs the ore. Kiwi, why are you not sending ore? Hmm. 
Let's see. That would be why. Okay. Let's see where. Good. Omega's looking good too. That's Babby. Babby can upgrade. Let me just see something real quick. Yeah, okay, I need to. sure that my habitats are... Yeah, I don't... Hopefully that doesn't screw anything up. I probably shouldn't have done that at QB. I like an attack, so. Whoa! Okay. Let's just start clearing them out. Uh, those delicious resources, but I don't want them. Then a scum. a molten core. That's good. It's a big planet. It should. just set off one of those antigen bombs. Not 
sure I remember. You might be able to set off like one of oh, what is this? Scrawled on the wall of an empty house is a message. Martha, head for our farm. I'll meet you there if I can. Please be careful. this one and then we'll head back to wow the space station unload our cargo Check our tech tree. Some nice science. Tell us something about physics? I don't really think so. Oh, nothing. I don't think I ever remember seeing a blank text box.
have another. It was the seaweed monster. You find a very fine grain quartz sample. Cargo bay. Coolest. Oh, we have a nice tiny assortment of uh, science. And one more. Oh no, that was the last one. Sweet. generating a ton of ore though. Oh, I did screw up Kiwi. Oh no, it's still upgrading. Well, that's good. Invention complete. Dr. Miguel Bono believes he can create a high temperature superconductor. Our successes in previous endeavors have pointed him to the methodology. I know, I don't want to upgrade. Get out of here. Oh, we have a lot of math now. Okay, I should switch them to electronics, I think. metal alloy and forge a super metal form, the perfect material for the superconductor Dr. Banos is testing. Oh, period, sorry. Dr. Banos is testing the electron damper to see if he can induce the material to superconduct electricity at room temperature. If successful, we will be able to improve the output of our power plants. That's always good. Okay, this is what we really need for gamma. Okay, so we'll switch over to electronics. Change electronics, change electronics. Change electronics. Electronics. Other labs I have are on Evolicious. Electronics. Electronics. Phew. Let's see, we have 21 missiles. I don't really know what to do with those. ship here. Okay, this needs 
to go to Smythe. I don't know why it's out here. also has no ship. Do we have people already coming over? Okay, we do. We have people on their way. No wonder. This is taking a long time. Why we have no ship there. Okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty well here. We just need more humans.
yet. Okay, we're still positive. It didn't hurt us. Is our ship in Beluga yet? Not yet. Two turns. Let's see, do we have enough to invent anything? A little bit more chemistry. Okay, a lot bit more chemistry we need. Holy cow, that's a lot of astronomy. Log, but I don't understand. There was nothing on Hermes, right? Well, this doesn't come up with the scanner. Okay, so it's on this side, nothing. out his PDA entries. Really full already. Surprising amount of static. That's shocking. Geology is one of the things that we, I don't think, need. We do need some more chemistry. Oh, okay. Or maybe they came from the spore ship. Very cool. Okay, so it looks 
looks like there's a lot of terrestrial organic compounds here. Thank you for the raid. Did you just get done with uh, Dead by Daylight? Hello. Cool. You killing lots of people? Oh, thank goodness we need chemistry. I think we might have enough for this. Oh, this seems kind of useless though. I don't know that we even need this. Team. Nice. Actually, Beluga might have humans by now. No, we still don't. <laughs> oh. Okay. This pipeline uh, only just now picked up our humans. We have ages until it gets back. Fantastic. Never mind. Oh. Well, that stinks. I hate it when people disconnect. of decoded the alien signals. I'm sure that you could have. Let's go do it right away. Part on the Calypso. You. I mean, a human pilot. Disgusting. Go. You're an alien. Sending our ore from there. And then start sending it from here. Yes, we need xenomorphs. That is very true. Upgrade. upgrade my factories again. I think I would as well. That'd be really, really fun.
What? What did that remind you of? Oh, I need humans here. Oh uh, yeah, let's go send them some humans. Oh no, let's not send them humans. Let's wait eight turns. I mean, are any of them really necessary though, Ace? There, though, two turns. And maybe the animals will stop being insane. Captain, the biota crisis appears to nope. be over. All attacks that were massing near our colonies have completely disbanded. The biota are no longer a threat. Awesome. Transponder muffler at Gamma 1. It appears to be working, sir. The signals from the asteroid are growing much weaker. It should be safe to send vehicles with robotic pilots and crew members to the asteroid at this time. Captain, our sensors have detected a massive flux of power in the Beta asteroid. Oh. As if a spacecraft had just become active. We will let you know if we discover anything further. Uh, you mean Gamma 1, probably. What's my military commander telling me this, not a science commander? Oh my. Captain, we will be accruing data on Cronus for a short time, after which a full report will be presented to you. Okay, cool. Um, okay, I can't create any colonies. Our nearest colony to um, to Gamma One. Smythe, maybe. Oh well, no, I guess it's smallpox. Duh. Oh, 
You know what I can do with that one ship? Yeah, I'll just make a space station there. SSJ to Goku. Is there no freaking energy on this planet? some energy with us. smallpox either, so... It made perfect sense. Let's find some more energy. I have many questions as well, as. here because I had a ship that um, didn't have enough juice to get anywhere else. I just don't need it. Look how cluttered my colonies tab is. There's, there's, there's too many colonies. I'm going to send uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku energy though. Well, it's just a lot to scroll through and I still need to create a, a few other colonies. That does remind me, I should see if I can actually get to Hades yet. No, Hades is just really far out of my reach. planning on sinking it, but it's in a not-too-friendly area, and I'm expecting it to take some serious damage. I'm, tr 
trying to get, um... Oh, Beluga has humans now. I'm trying to get Beluga and Porpoise up and running so I can send, um... Well, buy a jellyfish. Buy a space jellyfish. I'm trying to get these two colonies that are on moons orbiting it up and running so I can send, um... Send ore to it and get labs running on it. Yeah, I mean, jellyfish, iceberg, they're pretty much the same thing, so... I agree. That porpoise... ...is looking real good. Gamma one's going to be moving now. do anything, but alright. Missiles. Gamma 1. Go. Let's see. Oh, how are my electronics? That's a decent amount of electronics. chemistry and we need more astronomy I think. I need one more biology. Huh. I think we need this so let's get all hands on deck with astronomy. fields running anymore. Oh, 
Oh, we have to send a probe to Cronus. I totally blanked out on that. Probe. Cronus. Get out of here. Nine hundred nine hundred ninety four turns until Sporeship impact. I don't This might be what we need to destroy it. I'm not sure though. I should probably focus everything on that. What else does it want me to do? Nice to meet you too. Captain, these Empians seem to be an intelligent and advanced race. It's conceivable that they too may be here as pioneers colonizing a new system. That may mean they send probes and scouting missions to planets as we do. Who knows? Perhaps we may yet stumble upon an Empian colony out here. Who knows? Did you receive that message from the Empians, Captain? Obviously, they have broken our vidphone channels, although their form of communication is so foreign that I cannot begin to translate it, as the unreadable text in the vidphone demonstrates. Sir, our best ships can crisscross this system in no time flat. We should begin exploring all of the planets as thoroughly as possible. I'm quite anxious to find any bits in... A job well done, sir. We can put up more colonies in our discretion, but for us, well... Our mission is accomplished, with flying colors, I might add. Well, sir, we have an entire system at our disposal. We might as well begin filling the various planets with our colonies. There are undoubtedly many things waiting for us out here. Undoubtedly. To be left behind after all this. Well, I guess it's only fair. I mean, our lives were doomed to end here anyway, thanks to the cryogenic process we've been using. Why are you such a downer? Jeez. The riddle of the Tantalus is solved. Captain Johansson's decision to dismantle the Tantalus and take its engine to Gaia was quite inventive, if not overly dangerous. I suggest we do not take any such action. I will miss being in your service, sir. Indeed. Astronomy. Much more astronomy do I need. A lot more astronomy. Let's get to exploring. Ten people and ten robots. Even damage this thing. If it turns out to be possible, then we should not hesitate to eliminate it since it poses a dire threat to our existence should it actually reach Beta Kali successfully. I need a team of ten personnel and ten robots for the examination process. Allow up. Okay, ten people, ten robotos. You got it. Let's see, that's... Yeah, she won't be sent to engineer. Ship on Gamma One, right? Cool, and we have energy here, so. Oh, 
Oh, those were pylons. I think all that's left are pylons. Which I might as well start destroying. Everything off the face of this. That's the last one. Cool. I guess we have no need to be here anymore. Let's leave, I don't know, 25 energy. What was the middle of doing when they interrupted me? Yeah, so I'm gonna go look for some science. Chemistry and astronomy, that's what we really need. Oh, but I'll take math. Wow, that's highly unlikely. Meteors of decreasing size have impacted exactly inside one another, creating an inverted ziggurat. Kaylee's strong gravitational tidal forces. Leaving. 
geology is not what I want. Chemistry. That's something I needed. Two. Only two. shows remarkable density, just like your brain. Astronomy, we needed that too. Small pools of, oh yeah, liquid lead. It's the same liquid lead. Dust shows signs of radioluminescence. When you expose it to radiation, it glows. Very useful. Glass spheres created by meteorite impacts litter this area. Chemistry now, we might. No, we need three more chemistry. Fantastic. Deposits of cinnabar, red crystalline that is the principal ore of mercury. Red crystalline. Red crystalline rocks? Uh, I feel like there's a noun missing here. Red crystalline mineral. Science. <coughs> you name this area Tesla, in honor of the 20th century Croatian American physicist Nikola Tesla. Why did I name it that though? Why would that give me physics information? Oxidation of the rocky surface indicates that the planet had free oxygen in its early history. Oh, so I guess with a thin layer of water, maybe it could have had life. Copper compounds are mixed with the ore in this area. There we go, three chemistry. We have enough chemistry now. Will we find astronomy anywhere though? Astronomy. 
You determined that the debris from the Alpha Asteroids impacts on Hermes about once a month. Just one. Tiny zircons created by meteorite impact cover the ground. I like how the color of the planet varies depending on where you are on it. Small opals are encased in basalt rock. This planet is mostly just geology, I feel like. Okay, we have enough chemistry now. I think we need to create antimatter bombs. Let's see. How is our engineer going? 19 turns. Go offline. 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 Let's get more labs. No, oh, can I? There we go. as much science as we can, quick. Look at all this geology we have. Jeez, what am I going to do with all that? So let's see. How much of everything do I actually need? Where's a piece of pepper? This is... Uh, I don't want to use that paper. sound. Was that my missiles impacting? Okay, yeah, yeah, they're returning to Clipso. 
missiles uh, engaged. 12 turns for, or 11 turns for my engineer to get there. Nice. So let's see what we actually need. Overall, we need 70 astronomy. We need. Forty-nine chemistry. Seventy-nine electronics. Only 38 geology, 20 biology, 99 mathematics, 79 in physics. So how far are we from all of those points? We currently have 32, 14, 34, 105, and math are the two biggest things, but chemistry, physics, and astronomy are all pretty close to. So we're almost able to do this. Once we have enough for this to start on it, I'm going to change up the percentages of all of our labs to try and, try and even this out. That way, we can just leave them running and we don't have to keep switching them between different fields. So let's see. How many labs do I have total? spreadsheet stuff not on stream. Let's pay attention to the game. Uh, that or I could stream LibreOffice. How about that? <laughs> I'm not going to. So let's see. These are almost done built. Come on, just a little bit longer. Looks like we have plenty of ore everywhere right now. What are we waiting for? Oh yeah, did Beluga build those? We 
did. Nice. when these are done building we will have a power negative issue but who knows maybe we'll have enough robots to build another power plant Corpus have enough humans. Yes, please. Now let's go and do two at a time here. Okay. Yeah, so we'll really tank our ore processing while that's happening. Survive 20 turns with that with that ore, but let's see how bad it gets. Not great. 11 turns, 14. Uh, of course, that's what takes the longest. I could send ore here. Destination Corpus. What? What just happened? Captain, we've had an unprecedented meteor storm at one of our colonies here. The damage has been quite intense. I request the emergency relief supplies and any other assistance you can afford to offer. I wish you had authorized us to construct an energy pulser here. It may have saved us from such a horrible... Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Uh, jeez. Billy Base, we need to get you an anti-meteor gun. Who else? You, you need an anti-meteor gun. Oh, wow. We need more peoples. Why don't we have three power plants? Okay, stop all robot production. Building that and there just aren't enough people alive here to build another power plant. That's very frustrating. <laughs> Babby. I don't think we have anything useful at any other beta asteroid, so. I don't know if we need them on the alpha asteroids, too. Go off 
fine. Let's just be safe. That should be a pretty decent split so we can eventually get all of these up to snuff and researched. It'll take a while though. Do we have that probe on Cronus yet? Yes. Excellent. force fields. We might even be able to get away with dismantling them, but we'll see. Oh. Oh, I upgraded the wrong factory. Oh well. So we'll really be pumping out robots here. Mantle this force field, I think. I don't think we'll need it anymore. Upgrade 
once. Upgrade once. here otherwise I would do that here. Populate quickly. What 
do we have a level 2 factory here? That doesn't make any sense. Probably going to be running out of life support at this rate. So I have nothing on the Aegis. We can build another power plant. Nice. That should be self sufficient. Is your porpoise? Let's go all out here. Upgrade. Upgrade. You can mine. And you will research electronics. about geology whatsoever. Math. Math is going to be a big problem. Electronics is going to be a big problem.
Oh wait, I don't have a log saying that um, I had to leave the engineer anymore. After examining oh. all the whole data we've gathered about the spore ship, I believe we found a weak spot. On the underbelly of the ship, there's a small crease in the exterior. If we coordinate missile attacks against the asteroid, I'll be able to direct our pilots to focus their efforts in that sector. I have indicated my best guess calculation for the number of missiles required to destroy the ship in the space map. What? Okay, on the space map. Captain, I am afraid that all of our efforts at destroying the Gamma-1 asteroid with missiles have been ineffective up to this point. I believe our detonations were only superficial and not very damaging to the interior core of the ship. Which is it, guys? Eighty-five missiles to destroy. Uh, how many missiles do I have? Twenty-five. Yeah, I could just send this guy on a missile mission as well. Let's take a human pilot though. Get a ship from here, send it to the Calypso. I'm not actually building missiles anywhere else, so. thing for us to be able to... I don't know what that sound meant. So just need a little bit more chemistry on this. What does this do? Stronger armor for a spacecraft. Okay, that might be helpful. Uh, so we need a good bit of chemistry. Sounds good. When did we lose a building? Billy Base, how are you? looks good. We also look pretty good here. Uh, let's go ahead and make another round of upgrades. Oh, these are both offline. yourself. Do we have enough humans? We might. We'll have to keep an eye on that. <sighs> we have 14 labs. I probably don't have them split out super well. I very much want to just get into a spreadsheet right now and calculate exactly what split I need my labs to be at, but... our engines so we can get to Hades.
Beta 2 is the closest place to Hades right now. Smallpox, can you get to Hades? You can! A new ship there, though. Does Corpus still need ore? No. We don't need ore. Awesome. Stop selling ore to Corvus. Let's get a huge amount of ore here. Guys. Captain, this is the second message from the ambient creatures. It's obvious they're trying to communicate, but, well, I just don't like it. I feel that they are not asking for communication, but are ordering us to do something. Probably. But what? Oh, is this just gonna be a pylon? Yeah, let's get out of there. We don't want pylons. Yeah, screw it. Let's just get science. Math, okay, perfect. Wind and water have carved a giant arch out of a sandstone cliff. Not much math, but it works. Resinous lumps containing hibernating life forms can be seen all around the area. Oh. You find an isolated research lab. Tacked on the wall is a yellow newspaper with a headline that reads, Johansson orders ore pipeline be built at Alpha Asteroids. What else is here? Wrapped up in an, an impenetrable resin. Sure. Um, do we have enough biology now? We have enough biology now. We don't need to worry about it. It's just everything else that we have to worry about. Field at colon E. No, we did not. Dismantle. Okay. 
Oh no, what are we needing? It looks like we have everything we need. Go offline, go online. Must have just been on the cusp of not having enough humans. No, no, it. Oh, it needs 17 humans. Well, that might be a while. Did we lose more humans? frustrating. Wait, does Babby not have any ships? robots. I don't think. Get out to Babby. Still 83 missiles. That sounds good. The antimatter fuser is a laser with a bifocaline crystal barrel which is used to make antimatter vibrate in a different dimension from positive matter, thus allowing the two materials to coexist without interaction. Containing the antimatter is too expensive to make the process cost effective at this time, although we expect the process to be used sometime in the future. Need a tad more chemistry. I really want this. What is this? Power plants. So we have two new things. Okay, unified field theory. This might be the line that I need to go down to get that bomb. Okay. Let's work on this. Chemistry, math, astronomy. Astronomy. 
Yeah, we have the... Well, actually, we're the furthest and we need more chemistry than the others. Tick up. Our scanners are probing Hades. Okay, let's go deal with Hades, actually. Can't make up my mind. I'm doing my best to conserve energy on this because until we land, we're in a precarious position. shuttle sits on an ice sheet. Inside, a notice has been tacked to the wall. The pilot of this shuttle was executed for fleeing battle against the Harak seed ship. Six Sumpar traitors. The notice is signed by the governor of the Hades colony. Now let's get all this fancy stuff and then we'll look for science. Flag post sticks up out of the ice. An aluminum flag has been attached to the post and is shaped to look as though it were flapping in the wind. On the flag are the words, End of the Line. Outpost Gamma was particularly small. The last occupant, who seems to have been a metallurgist, left the door open and a note stapled to a table. I want to go to Prometheus. The aliens personally told me that I could find some metal in the B sector that would make me rich, rich, rich. We've probably already located whatever that is. Ooh, we need this. Unload. 
huge chunks of ice and snow in this area have been dug out of the ground. As far as you can tell, these excavations were not made by humans. Were the Empians out here digging? With their jellyfish hands? Looks like we have plenty of energy. find some robots. Nope, a ship. An Empian ship has crash landed in a pile of snow. The ship is still largely intact, but the crew died instantly in the impact. Their remains are splattered across the interior. Poor jellies. Oh, 666 energy, nice. save the game. Uh, hopefully don't crash. This was once Hades Outpost Beta, a mining camp. A welcome banner still hangs in one of the domes. Greetings, Calypso! By the time you read this message, we of the Tantalus will all be dead. Just do the opposite of everything we did, and you might survive. Best wishes from the dead. Oh. Well, that's. Hmm. That's a little bit depressing. We'll just do everything that they didn't do. That or we'll die to the seed ship when it hits the sun. It's a very real possibility. A methane ice glacier has carved a has carved a groove down to the rock surface. You dig out a glimmering hunk of metal that's been exposed. Oh, special metal. The metal we found on Hades has remarkable properties. It can be as hard as diamond one moment and then as soft as lead the next. on this screen. Let's refuel. We'll make sure there's no fun stuff on this side of the planet. Oh. The green crystalline growths are most remarkable. Their biochemical properties are similar to Terran mushrooms. What? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, it's gonna pop it up for every single one. Which FNAF game, Ace? The first, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, have they not played it before? Nice. 
you find a half dozen overturned snowmobiles. The bodies of their owners are nearby, frozen into the ammonia ice. Several of them are locked in battle, clutching each other by the throat. It appears they all went mad and killed each other. If he's already played one of them, then surely he... Does the third not have a power mechanic? Surely he knows what happens when you run out of power. job budding. You find the empty buildings of a research outpost. A message has been spray painted on the wall. Hades Outpost Alpha. We were cold as hell and hot as blazes once the Herax woke up. Oh jeez. Sounds awful, Ace. Oh, if after he doesn't have power? Okay. You're just a big troll. I'm trying to spook your friends. A weak mayday signal leads you to a woman's body lying on a white snowfield. In her hand is a bag containing red dust, the remains of a crystal of some kind. A label on the bag reads, Enjoy the warm breezes blowing in your hair as you visit our crystal paradise in Sector I-26 on Gaia. Oh, let's see. I'm very sure that we've already been to I-26 on Gaia. by this point we wouldn't have I wish I had like a snowmobile instead of a spaceship a glacier of frozen ammonia juts up from a frozen lake like a giant blue crystal let's head back Chemistry. Let's go focus on chemistry. We will need more electronics and physics too, we just don't right now. Captain, the crystalline substances we found on Hades are remarkable. Using the biochemical crystals with the shiitake meat synthesizer, we can generate a huge number of life support units here on Calypso. Find more of those crystals, sir. The shiitake meat synthesizer comes in handy for once. Wait, set. That... Whoa, that did give us a huge amount of life support. Holy cow. Where do we need life support? I don't even know. Did they get down to zero? Nice. Which one's killing him? I think I'll just let these go at that same rate. Oh, before I wasted so many turns. No, dudes, I can't. I can't understand you though. That tears it. These jellyfish-looking things keep forcing their communications onto our secured channel. Sir, no, 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 no. I my request to strike at these things to show them who's boss. Commander Williams, that's a horrible idea. That's my recommendation, sir. No, you can shout up your ass.
and staff has detected alien vessels leaving the inner atmosphere regions of Cronus and headed out into orbit. Ooh. We need to have ships. I don't want to though. Are they really? Are they attacking us? We found an ambient probe ship crashed on Hades. The materials we've recovered from the ship are quite intriguing. Most promising of all, we've recovered the body of a dead ambient. We are dissecting it now in the medical lab and hope to learn what makes them tick. Oh, I have so many things to research. Come on. Ambients reproduce via cloning. However, they do it in a highly unusual way. Because they replicate living matter from the inside out, we may be able to take this process one step farther and halt the process whenever we wish. <laughs> the secret cutscene. Good job, Ace. Oh, see, it's 90 math, jeez. <laughs> Unfortunately, since I'm not an affiliate, I cannot have official channel points myself. But you are earning walrus bladders through stream elements. Um, how the heck do you check that? You can check it with uh, exclamation point points. All you can do right now, though, is basically cheer with them, so... Alex watches me. Alex is a cool dude and watches me, even though he never participates in the chat. Yeah, but I've I haven't had them for a very long time yet. I think my whole last stream you you weren't there at all, and Alex was. You uh you missed me on Saturday. That's why. Saturday was the first day that they were working. and see what these alien ships are like. I don't actually see any alien ships. I'm not complaining, I'm just telling you that's why why you have less points because Alex was watching for like my entire stream which was like four hours I think so you probably will because Alex is usually very distracted playing Final Fantasy 14. But if you uh, use exclamation point walrus space roar space and then a message, you can make a, a walrus read out your message. <laughs> it's a very useful thing to be able to do. You can have the walrus tell me to hydrate. I can't feel my legs. 
Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I've tricked you into <laughs> spending your bladders. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how your friend probably feels, getting his secret cutscene. <laughs> you just have to have Alex uh, do the same thing a couple of times. <laughs> Why do you want to save the walrus platters, though? <laughs> All they're good for is is having it uh, read a message. Oh, there actually is a secret cutscene. I thought you'd just die. I thought you were just tricking them. No, it's not as mean now. Physics and chemistry. We're not coming with physics at a quick enough rate. Let's change our math to physics. <sighs> Come on. We just need so many science resources. Switching to the second game? What, does he just play, you know, each game for like a couple of nights and then stop? I don't need more 
robots right now at either of these. Go offline. Go offline. Kiwi, you've got a lot of robots as well. Need more humans though. We have the most humans here. When we get a ship here, we'll send more humans to Kiwi. I guess we can, we can keep ships on the surface now, so.
Hello, dust box. Box over. Go. Oh, oh, there it is. Just took it. Took it a moment. Oh yeah. So we can send a bomb to Gamma One. fusion reactor controls how and when atoms combine during nuclear fusion, in effect making the IFR an extremely potent and devastating bomb. Should we need to use it, it must be launched from the Calypso. A special mission is available for this purpose. Oh. Can we do it with just regular bombs though? Regular missiles? I feel like we can. I'm thinking we try and save that IFR. What if we can use the IFR against the ambience or something? I don't know. Tech. Okay, we can almost get this better armor. Let's just chill for a bit. Let that tick up. I need to pour myself my drink. This will all be kind of in the gutter until all that stuff is done. Okay. 
dangerous post not having enough robots. You will mine, you will research biology. I don't think we have anywhere researching biology. somehow all balance out. We'll see. He's a uh, six strings. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Beluga. Uh, you're fine. Corpus. over to the Aegis. Yeah, I'd like to start building on the Aegis.
Yeah. You go back to Corpus. Cool. And we'll just chill out here with. So at the very least, we need to build a habitat, send humans, and then immediately try and build a mass driver. I think that is what we need to do. What speed am I at right now? Oh, that seems really quick though. getting close to like now a hundred <laughs> I will switch go switch out all my labs for that for something else. Is there anything that we can invent?
security. We'll just leave that. Until we're up and running here. Let this run for a bit until um, until we're able to sort this out. We need uh, some more robots, some more peoples. Still recovering from that massive uh, meteorite shower or whatever.
let's just go for it. I like engines. Uh, 55 more missiles. actually attacking me? No, they're not doing any damage, they're just flying around. Right? not gone up at all.
Cool. Um, well, I'm going to get off for now. Adios. Let's see. Whew. <sighs>